Yeah, that's just live. We're just live casting. Okay. Yeah. So, but the show, we have people that we invite on a regular basis. Some of them are kind of controversial. Actually, a lot of the stuff that I do is pretty controversial. Okay. Because we do have the ability to uh, address illnesses that are presently considered incurable. Okay. And so, yeah. Such as? Such as HIV and multi-drug MRSA, multi-drug resistant uh, uh, diseases yeah. and end-stage renal disease and cancer. And yeah, quite Through a few. The and biomagnetism. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, you'd be surprised what you can do with this. So now we're going to do your basic detox. Okay, so we already have a few magnets in place. Now we look at the angles mm -hmm. to measure the body's response, right? Because your heart is on the left side of your body, the left side of your brain is larger than the right side. And therefore, since the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body, and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body, if I place this magnet anywhere where there is a pathogen, virus, uh, fungus, bacteria, or a parasite, and there's a pH imbalance, either it's too acidic, the pH mm -hmm. is too low, or too alkaline, the pH is too high, the body's going to respond with tension, and when the body responds with tension, the right foot is going to appear to shrink. The right leg is going to appear to shrink in comparison to the left. Yeah. Because, yeah, because this is the largest muscle in your body, long, the longest bone is your finger. Largest muscle bellies are here, and all muscles can do is contract, right, yeah. or relax. So when the body is getting a negative magnet, this is a magnet negative positive pole of the magnet, when the negative magnet, which increases circulation, is introduced to a pH imbalance, then the body is going to respond with tension. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, the right leg is going to appear to shrink in comparison to the left. Take a look. So here's the left, here's the kidney, I mean liver. So now we're going to boost the, boost the function of the liver. This is called your basic detox. Okay. Now we're going to address the kidneys. We put the positive on the top, negative on the bottom of the kidneys. And what that does is the top. It's going to affect your adrenal glands, so you're going to feel a little energy release into the body. And the bottom is going to relax your kidneys. So you might have to pee sooner or later. <laughs> you do positive and negative, right? Right here on the kidneys. Okay, there you go. All right, so we have liver, kidney. Now the pancreas. The organ right above the navel, negative. Sorry, negative. Positive at the head of the pancreas. Okay. Okay. Now the ascending colon. And how often do you do these treatments, like per patient, or how often do patients do them? Depends on depends on the condition. 
you want to space them out so that they uh, so that the body can recover. Mm -hmm. It's a little different philosophy than we apply to things that deal with the brain, like bio I mean, like uh, the neurofeedback. Neurofeedback, you want the treatments to be close together, right? Because you're training the brain, and you want to get that response where uh, the brain responds positively to repetitive training. Okay. Now, you want to also make sure that you get from the navel to the bone right here, right? Right in between here is your sigmoid colon, right? And after it comes down, goes up, goes across, comes down, ascending, traverse, descending, and then it has a nice little S, the sigmoid, before it comes out. And the sigmoid is important because if you feel here, you feel tightness, uh -huh. okay? What that is is biofilm building up in your sigmoid colon, this place where you can deposit, yeah, cheese and <laughs> dairy and milk and all of that stuff, yeah. Um. Yeah, not good. So we want to make sure we get that sigmoid colon. So it's more going vegan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's more going vegan again. Yeah. Yeah. Get the colon clean. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, now we're going to do the lungs. And I'm going to put two on either lung. Okay, so we're going to do positive, negative again. Right here. Head back down. Okay. Now, this is like acupuncture in that you can go to five different. Biomagnet, biomagnetic pair therapists and their techniques would be a little bit different. Yeah, a little you bit. know. But what happens is eventually you learn to become intuitive to the body that you're working with and how they respond. It is imperative that both the client and the practitioner be well hydrated. If you're just if you're dehydrated, it's not going to work, and it's going to you're going to end up feeling worse than if you hadn't even done it. Now, subclavia, subclavia, right? This is the circulation that affects the throat. So, if you're concerned with a Herxheimer or if you're concerned with anything, I just use your straps here. Uh, if you smoke, if you prone to catch a cold. Anything that has to do with the tonsils or the throat, you want to get the subclavio. Subclavio, subclavio. Okay. Uh, Prepineal. And bladder, but it says bladder. I hear your stomach growling. That's a good sound. That's a good sign. Things are starting to stir to your bladder. So now these are both for the bladder. And we don't have to always use clips, sometimes tape works better.
Okay. Now, what we're doing is whenever there's a, a pathogen, right, a, a fungus, bacteria, mm -hmm. virus, or parasite, it causes a pH imbalance. It'll either be the pH will be too low, uh, it means it'll, it'll be acidic, cancerous tumors sprout from pockets of acidity, mm -hmm. right? And uh, or it'll be a pH too high, right? Which would be alkaline. Your husband's in medical school, right? So <laughs> you'd be able to impress him with all of this. And uh, so these uh, relationships form, symbiotic relationships form between the pH imbalances. And if there is a pocket of acidity, it will hold on to the body because there's a pocket of alkalinity somewhere else. For example, the person has HIV in the early stages, mm -hmm. it will reside in the colon in the form of a virus, bringing the colon down, bringing it into an acidic state. But it will hold on to the body by means of the E. coli bacteria, which lives in the thymus gland, which is actually right here, right? Mm -hmm. Right here in the center of your chest. So to depolarize that relationship, we put a positive on the thymus and a negative under the butt, under the colon, mm -hmm. and that helps the body to depolarize that relationship. And just long enough for your body's own uh, immune system to take over. And, and it helps the body to, uh, to discharge both the virus and the parasite. Okay. Okay. I mean, and the path. I mean, both pathogens, the virus and the bacteria. So now we have. Once we have the biomagnetic pairs in place, then we take other magnets and place them in the areas like here, where there's high circulation of blood. And the reason you want to do that is because when that's okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll get it out. Is because. Um, when your blood is acidic, or when your body, your milieu, which means your blood and water and everything in your body, yeah. is acidic, the red blood cells tend to cling to each other like chains or stack, they stack up like this, right? They stack up like this, like, like cookies, okay? And they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be negatively charged. So they're supposed to be repelling against each other, right? Energetically, they're supposed to be bouncing against each other. Right. And um, this impedes blood flow, and it also prevents the white blood cells from growing to their proper size, which is three times the size of red blood cells, and doing their job. So it can cause a lot of problems. It can cause yeah. a lot of problems. So basically, when your blood, your blood is red because it has ferrous, it has iron in it. And when your blood passes below the magnetic field, the magnetic field polarizes the iron and the hydrogen in your blood, and it helps them to unstick. Now, um, and so in doing that, Right, mm -hmm. you are able to uh, help the blood. Take your shoes off. You're able to help the blood um, to flow more freely, and it also helps your your macrophages or your T cells. It helps your defense your defender cells to do their jobs. So you're going to get a uh, a detox reaction. So does the, the client or the patient, do they feel a lot of difference during this time? How do you feel, Katie? Yeah, I do feel yeah. stuff. Feel stuff moving, huh? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. And you think magnets, right? You know, magnets are something that we've always had access to. And even in the hieroglyphs in Egypt, they, or they write about magnets being used for medicine. Really? Yes, yes. <coughs> yes. 
This is not unheard of. It is not unheard of. This leg is starting to feel small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this so, leg is starting to feel tighter. It is? Yeah, I can feel this one's all smaller than this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's weird. Mm -hmm. Now, this at this distance from the equator, the magnets have to set for at least 30 minutes. If we were at the equator, it would be like five or 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. If we were in Canada, it would be two hours. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the magnetic field of the Earth. And I suspect that if we were in Sedona, Arizona, so stay still, okay? Your nose is itching? Okay, thank you. <laughs> if, we were, if we were in Sedona, I hear that there is a powerful vortex, in, magnetic vortex in Sedona. And mm -hmm. so, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it'll work quicker, maybe it'll take longer, I don't know. But they say that. Yeah, they say that Sedona is a, mag a magical place with a, a stronger magnetic field. You know, the magnetic field of the Earth. Is... I've heard of a place like that, or like magnetic hills or something. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah, and that's only because there's more friction under the ground, right? Whenever there's the, the, mag the magnetism is caused by the churning of molten lava beneath us, the metals that are moving around, they're, they're, that's what causes magnetism. So it's not necessarily gravity that we're dealing with. And uh, so, and that's why it's good to go on the beach like we did the other day, because mm -hmm. that there's so much friction, you know, when the water, the tide is coming in and going out, it's not only flowing on top of the beach, it's also soaking into the sand underneath. So there's a lot of activity down there with the water and the sand. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, and so the earth has a nice negative charge. It's very important to walk barefoot on the grass every day or on the sand or on the ground. On the, yeah, it really? is. Yeah, it's very important to ground yourself. You get full of it like negative charges and So, as a timer, this is another therapy that we do. It's called brain training. And uh, we use audio, visual, and CES, which is what these clips are. It's a uh, cranial electrotherapy stimulation. Small electrical pulses, very small, on your earlobe. Stimulate the brain to produce serotonin, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and other endorphins. And uh, it really helps your brain to work in balance. Um, it is very good as an augmentative therapy to, um, how are you guys doing? Thanks for joining us today. Uh, as an augmentative therapy, to uh, neurofeedback and makes neurofeedback more effective. And you can do it while you're doing biomagnetism. Just moisten the clothes to help you get the connection. Right on the red. Monday. This is Evan. May I help you? <coughs> hey, good morning, girl. How are you doing? I'm, I'm getting my credit cards and everything together this morning. 
uh, yeah, for us to kind of split it up. Perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm already drawing up the plan of what comes from which one. <laughs> How much from each one. Okay. Put, put those part exactly. Maybe two of them, you know, if, if there's room for more than one card, or, or just send me like three of them, because I can put it on three to three of the cards, probably. All right. I'm looking for it now. Excellent. Uh, yeah, actually we did, and uh, we were supposed to have somebody come by at four thirty on Friday, but we missed them because we were getting swim trunks for the kids and stuff. But they'll probably be back today. Actually, I thought you were them calling. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're going to take a ride. We'll probably take a ride around there later on in the day, and uh, once we see a couple of clients, uh, to pick them up, pick it up. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. That's the radio station right there. So we we record every Wednesday okay. at noon. At noon. Yeah, and we're bumping up from a half hour show to an hour show. Um, you okay? Um, How you feel? You feel all right? Yeah. All right. I want to sleep. Yep, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep and and be comfortable with it. Don't even worry about it. In fact, I can move this closer if you want. Rest your arm on it. Some people like that. Bring the beds closer so it feels like one big bed. You see? You won't feel like yeah. your arms never fall off. <laughs> and then this is good because this is a 35 minute session that you're on. The sessions are different times, but that one is 35 minute session. So that way you know that when the time runs out that your magnets have been on long enough. There you go. And if you guys can sit tight, I'm gonna hit the restaurant. We'll be right back. Hey, Howard, Demetrio, Jerry, how's it going? Demetrio is a fellow biomagnetist. Mm -hmm. Mm
So just relax, take a nap. We'll be back. Okay. You already <laughs> sleep. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Somebody's messing around. You know? <laughs> That's pretty much my answer. You say the same thing. I mean, other than that, you know, does anything else? Does it just, you know, your kids are always going up to the best spot? Does it, you know, just bring you together? Does anything else bring you together? The only thing that makes you a part is just, you know, you know.
dad. Finished? It finished? Uh, Are you still flashing? Uh, yeah, Did it finish flashing? Uh, I had to get it off. Oh, it didn't time out? Yeah. Wait. Did it just stop? No, I had to get it all off. My hand is straightening up. Really? Okay, let's see. Slow fast, fast is better. <laughs> so it started hurting your head? Mm -hmm. How long in? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get anxious. Huh? I'm starting to get anxious too. You use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Remember you use you drank grape juice. How you feel? Drink your water. Drink your vitamin water. Make sure you get well hydrated. Oh, John, Jan, Dad, a lot of people. Thanks for joining, guys. <laughs>